Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. This is Rohit. Friends, in today's video, we are going to talk about peer-to-peer -peer network and its implementation within the packet tracer. So first of all, we will try to understand what is concept of peer-to-peer -peer network or peer-to-peer -peer computing. And then I will show you practical implementation of peer-to-peer -peer network within the packet tracer. So let's start the video by understanding what is peer-to-peer -peer network. So basically peer to peer network is a simple network of computers where less number of computers will be directly connected to each other. So peer to peer computing or peer to peer networking is a distributed application architecture where the partition of task will be done, workload will be shared between the clients, between the computers. So here as well peers will be able to share their resources with other peers directly without any coordination of central server. So what resources they may able to share? So they may share their processing power, they may share their disk storage, they may share their network bandwidth, they may share their memory or they may share any other resources with other peers directly. So that is what the advantage you will get with the peer-to-peer -peer network. So here every node will be act as a server and there is no any central server available within the network. So each peer, each node can act as a server as well as it can act as a client. So this is having sharing huge amount of data within the network and as we discuss whatever task will be available so that task will get divided among all available peers or all available nodes so each node will be connected within the network and it will be responsible for sharing the load equally that is basically the concept of peer to peer network okay now i will try to show you how we can implement peer to peer network within the packet tracer so i will take you to the packet tracer now friends here we will try to create the peer-to-peer -peer network within this logical workspace so for that first of all i will go to the end devices option and you can see lot of end devices are available so here we are going to select two computers like this okay now next to that we will rename this machines let's say this is computer one and this is computer two okay now next to that we will connect these computers with each other using certain media so we will go to the connections option and you can see lot of cables available so here we are going to select this copper crossover cable as this both devices are of similar type so we will click on first computer and from available list of ports we will select fast ethernet 0 now we will take this connection to the second computer and we will click on the second computer again it will show us the list of available ports with which we want to connect so here we are going to select fast ethernet 0 again now you can see it is showing that connection is created with the port fast ethernet 0 on both of these computers okay now next to this we need to assign certain ip address to both of these machines so in order to assign ip address we will click on computer and here we will go to the desktop and we will select this ip configuration now here we are going to add ip address let's say 10.10.1.1 and we will hit enter now you can see the subnet mask is available for the specified ip address so i'm going to copy this ip address and we are going to now assign ip address to the second machine so again we will click on it and we will go to desktop ip configuration and we will paste this ip address so we are going to edit this IP address as 1.2 okay and you can see now subnet mask is available after hitting enter 
now we are going to place one note over here for this so which will show us the ip address okay so for this second machine it is 1.2 now friends we have established connection we have assign ip address now we next we are going to check whether connection is working or not so for that we are going to use ping command so ping command basically sends certain sample packets from one machine to another machine and if we get reply for all that sample packets means then connection is okay so from computer 1 we will try to send certain sample packets to computer 2 okay so for that we are going to use command prompt of computer 1 so in order to access command prompt we will click on it and now here we are going to select this command prompt option now in command prompt option we are going to type the ip address of our destination machine so here you can see the ip address is 10.10.1.2 so here i will type ping and what is our destination ip address so it is 10.10.1.2 and after that we will hit enter and now you can see total number of packets that are sent from our computer 1 is 4 total number of received packet is 4 and lost packet 0 so this is how we will check the connectivity okay now same thing we will do it from computer number 2 as well so now we are opening the command prompt of computer 2 and now our destination will be computer 1 so we will type its ip address ping and ip address is 10.10.1.1 and we will hit enter now you can see total number of sent packet from computer to 4 and total number of received packet 4 means connection is okay now next to this we will try to generate certain sample traffic over here so for that we will click on it and here you can see there is a traffic generator so select this and now it will ask you the destination ip address where we want to send sample packet so 10.10.1.2 and source ip address will be 1.1 okay and next to that sequence number we will put 1 and uh, we will generate this traffic with interval of 1 second okay and if we click on send now we will minimize this and we will open this simulation panel now you can see the packet is ready to send now if we click on play you can see now packet is sent to the destination and again reply will be sent by computer 2 to computer 1 you can see okay this is how we have generated this sample traffic okay again after period of 1 second new packet will be sent okay like this we have generated the traffic over here okay so friends this is how we have understood what is peer to peer network and how it is implemented within the packet tracer so friends if you find this video useful please like and share this video i will see you in next video thank you for watching